children aged 5 to 17 in the world today is involved in child labor doing work that is damaging to his or her mental physical and emotional development these children risk their health and their lives and mortgage their lives as future adults children work because their survival and that of their families depends on it child labor persists even where it has been declared illegal and is frequently surrounded by a wall of silence indifference and apathy today let's consider chapter 1 from your course book named as vanga written by anton chekhov who is one of the master of modern short story in this touching story author depicts the plight of a 9 year old orphan boy vanga he is one among the millions of children who are victims of child labor so friends first of all i'm going to discuss with you the short summary of the story vanga for that you have to listen very carefully so let's start and then check out vanga is a short story which ostensibly has a lot of trappings of hope first the story takes place on christmas eve a time traditionally associated with redemption which means through a birth of jesus and the granting of wishes presents anomaly given during the christmas seasons and santa claus is additionally supposed to deliver presents on christmas eve second the titular vanga is an orphan apprenticed to an abusive shoemaker the master dragged me by the hair into the yard and gave me a beating so fearful is vanga of his master that he must write his letter in secret before tracing the shape of the first letter he looked several times fearfully in the direction of the doors and windows usually stories featuring plucky orphans under abusive custodians which means like annie oliver twist or even cinderella these are the characters in the uh, fairy tale stories so this end up with the orphans escaping their horrid surroundings to a new home of love and sunlight third one there is a hero just waiting in the wings to rescue vanga his grandfather here his means vanga vanga's grandfather constantin makarich is a jolly man his face always trickling with laughter who vanga has spent happy times with they had a wonderful time together grandfather chuckled the frost crackled and vanga not to be outdone clucked away cheerfully based on this description it would be fair for the reader to assume that constantin makarich come at once to rescue his grandson once he hear vanga's plight all the elements for a potential happy ending are in place vanga ran to the nearest mailbox and thrust his precious letter into the slot he had learned from the clerk how letters were dropped in the boxes and from these boxes they were carried all over the world however the clerk did not mention and vanga does not realize that the letters need to have a stamp on them vanga clearly only has an envelope without a stamp vanga twice folded the sheet of paper and then he put it in an envelope bought the previous day for a copeck without such a stamp there is no possibility that his letter will be reach his grandfather the elements of hope which the story lines up so neatly are for want of a symbol but crucial detail vanga does not know any better of course in fact his knowledge of the postal system is only second hand as the clerk did not tell him he needed a stamp he did not buy a stamp thus do the mundane realities of the world often times crush grandiose perhaps childish hopes moreover vanga's descriptions of constantin makarich call into question as well as the character of his grandfather certainly makarich sound like an amiable chap but is he really willing to raise his grandchild there's a subtle hint in the story that it was makarit that sent vanga away when pelagea died they relegated the orphan vanga to the servant's kitchen to be with his grandfather and from there he went to moscow to the shoemaker alyakhin as such even if the letter somehow reached makarit 
it is most likely that he would not have come and rescued his grandchild. Sometimes, glitches of hope fail little against the cruel realities of the world. Okay students, this is the end of the summary of the story, Vanga. I think the author realistically gave us the miseries of the boy, Vanga, who is away from the home and is put to child labor. The boy make a feeling in our heart. So friends, uh, the important exam oriented questions and answers are included in the second part. So just go to the second part. We will meet again one day. Bye.